Welcome back to the Walsh family living room and the second in our uh, fireside chat series on Philippians 1, 9 through 11. In uh, our first lesson, we saw how love abounds in knowledge. And this is my prayer, that your love may abound. And this is my prayer, love may grow. Knowing Him, knowing Him, knowing Him, really knowing Him, and living in love. So the second lesson focuses on growing in knowledge so that we um, can move into thinking about the second coming. So we have Philippians 1, I'll read verse 9 again, and right into verse 10. And this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, so that you may be able to discern what is best, and may be pure and blameless until the day of Christ. Now this is really an outstanding thing, because uh, uh, when you grow in love, you're getting ready for the second coming. The second coming sometimes sparks fear in people and all kinds of uh, urgency. But here, it looks like growing in love. And as the fruit of the Spirit abound, we grow in love. We actually get ready for the second coming by leading normal lives, lives of love. This is really interesting because our brother Joe Pritchett, uh, who's our Princeton native son, um, in his devotion uh, yesterday in the Maranatha said almost the same things about uh, 1 Peter. I'll just get a couple sentences and remind you of that. Peter does not prescribe panic as we near Christ's return. Rather, he encourages a business-as-usual approach to life. The Christians of Peter's day are implored to be alert and active in prayer, but more importantly, to deeply love one another with a love born of forgiveness and grace. Almost the same thing. And it's no big surprise when it, we see that Paul and Peter agree. Getting ready for the second coming, growing in holiness, looks like growing in love, abounding in love, not panic, not fear. And this brings great hope for us. We can be people of the second coming, abounding in love, and doing the right thing. So, we need to be prepared for the day of Christ. And uh, when we do that, it looks a lot like Philippians 2, 14 and 16. Do all things without grumbling or questioning that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation among whom you shine as lights in the world holding fast to the word of life so that in the day of Christ I, I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. There we go. So getting ready for the second coming uh, by being holy is abounding in love and remember love uh, grows with knowledge of Jesus Christ. Grow in uh, knowledge, yes. Grow in love and be prepared for the second coming by letting that light shine in love.